Now in this lecture let's try to explore on how to get an access token from the key clock server and pass on that access token to the resource server to get a proper response. So in order to get an access token from the key clock server I should know what is the endpoint URL that I need to invoke against my key clock server to get an access token. So in order to know all the endpoint URL supported by your key clock server you can invoke REST API call for the URL localhost 8080 auth slash realms and what is the real name dot well hyphen known slash open id configuration. If we invoke against this URL you will get all the APIs supported by your key clock server and also it will give you what kind of grant types that it support. It support authorization code, implicit, refresh token, password, client credentials. So all the details it will provide. But we want to understand what is the endpoint URL that we need to invoke in order to get an access token in the client credentials grant type. For the same, you can see there is a token endpoint. So this is the endpoint URL that you have to invoke. So localhost 8080 auth reals, what is the real name, protocol, open id, connect slash token. So we have to take this endpoint URL and paste it here. It has to be a post API invocation. So here under body, we have to pass client id, client secret, what is the scope and what is the grant type. You know client id is the id that we created in the key clock server. So if you go and see the clients available inside key clock, we created an client easy bank API. So this is the same name that you have to give here and the client secret, we can take it from the credential space that we have here. So I'm just copy pasting that client secret and scope is open ID. Since we are using open ID, which is an one more layer on top of what to framework by default we can use open id similarly we can use email address scopes also so all the scopes have different different responsibility inside open id connect so open id scope will give me an access token and id token and i can mention more number of scopes also separated by space like space email space address so this give me open id scope details email details and address details of the user and since we are using grant type of client underscore credentials where there is no user involved we have to give client underscore credentials so with all these details present inside the body in an encoded way we can invoke the api after invoking, I'm getting invalid client credentials. The reason is we have given invalid client ID. So the client ID is easy bank API. So let's try to correct that also. So with this now I should get an access token ID token from the key clock server. So now we got a successful access token from the key clock server. In the next lecture, let's try to pass this access token to the resource server whenever we are trying to invoke the my account api thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture bye